Hello everyone, welcome back again to On Our Channel. My name is Anas and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment. If you are wondering again why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to change add to cart button text on your Shopify. So if you want to change the add to cart text button, well, you click it on the right video. Actually, I just recorded a video on how to change the buy it now button. If you want to change the buy it now, text on the button well currently you cannot from shopify perspective uh, that option is no longer available but I just make a video or record a video on how to change the buy it now button to shop now or any call to action that you want and i mean any text you want i did change it to hit that like button imagine that so you can change it to any text you want and i mean the buy it now button and from people that's beginners it's a little bit complicated, but I did make a script, a really short one, like uh, 19 lines and so on. Then you can paste it in a specific section on the team editor or the code editor for the team. Then you can change the buy it now button to any text you want. But for this video, this is for how to change the add to cart text button. And this is not like buy it now. This is really easy and straightforward because they do give you the option to change it just from the code editor so it's not complicated at all and without any more talking let's just get to it but before we start as always if this video helped you out help me out pressing that like button i would really appreciate it so let's just jump to it as you can see this is the shopify store that i do all the tutorials on and as always all the things you see in here including the transparent header with the video uh, banner right here with the video actually for the banner playing under the header as you can see i did make videos on how to add all the things in here and i did all this without using a single app including the order tracking page where customers can easily track the order or the shipments for their order just from your shopify store without having to access any third party websites or anything like that and again i did all of this without using a single app and all the things i did show the code will be available in the description box and completely free all I'm asking for is a like please just like the banner says here just a like please so if you are interested in how to add transparent header right here to make your Shopify store unique and branded make sure to check out my channel but for now this video is how to change the add to cart text button on your Shopify and let's just get to it obviously the first thing you're going to do is access the Shopify dashboard but before we start, we need to access a product from here so I can show you changes that will occur after we change the add to cart button, obviously. So let's just access this product. By the way, if you're interested in how to add the color swatches with the picture for the color variant in here, make sure to check out my channel. I did make that video as well as the countdown timer and the sticky add to cart at the bottom of the page as you can see so this is the add to cart we will get to the shopify dashboard then we will uh, change the add to cart and we can back in here and reload the page and see if it will change or not so let's just get back to the shopify dashboard the next thing you're going to do is click on online store from here then click on three dots on the left of customize right here and click on edit code then it will take you to the code editor for your shopify store the next thing you're going to do is access the locals folder which is the one at the bottom of the page right here the last one in here so click on locals right here and it will show you a bunch of json files as you can see so what you need to access is the file for your language if your shopify store is in english we need to access and the default json just like you see and if your shopify store is in spanish you need to access this one this with s which is uh, span spanish language and this one for uh, french language and so on but for my case it's in english so i'm going to access uh, n.default.json so let's just click on it then it will show you a bunch of code in here and if you notice all the things in here are the headings for sections and so on and you can change them however you want in here so let's just scroll down and find add to cart in here or if you cannot find it simply click on command f if you are on mac or if you are windows click on control f then you will see a prompt right here as you can see then type in here add to cart and it will highlight it on the code as you can see here it is so we did find add to cart and we're going to change it however you want keep in mind there is two sections in here not just one so you will need to change it two times in the code editor in here the first one 
is this one right here so let's just close this and change this add to cart so what you need to do is simply select the add to cart i mean the text between the quotation marks and the one in red not the one on left in here because this is for the variable make sure to add to change the one in red and between the quotation marks which is this one i'm selecting right here so in my case i'm going to type in hit the like button please or without please hit that like button make sure you do so <laughs> so as i said there is two sections in here not just one because there is two add to cards that you need to change so this is the first one let's just scroll down and find the other one here is if you cannot find it as always just control f if you are on windows and search for it i did find it so i'm going to select it and change it again to hit the like button and make sure you do so so I did change it right now to hit the like button. Let's just save the changes. Then we will get back to the product page and see if this will change or not. So I will reload the page. Then this add to cart button should be uh, hit the like button and make sure you do so. I repeat. So let's just reload the page and it should change right now. And here it is. Check out what it says. Hit the like button. So hit the like button. The add to cart says hit the like button. Make sure to hit the like button. So that's how we change add to cart button text to any text that you want and it's completely easy and flexible. And as I said at the beginning of the video, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment. If you are wondering again why is that, because simply I'm working for you. Otherwise, I think my job is done for this video. So thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.